Connecting WordPress and Microsoft 365 Azure AD is super easy. Hi, I am Marco and I'm the developer of the WPO365 plugins. In today's video, I would like to show you how easy it is to send WordPress emails using Microsoft Graph. You are probably aware, or not, that we, WPO365, also provide a plugin that allows you to reconfigure your WordPress website to send emails using Microsoft Graph. But for today's video, we assume that you have installed a different plugin to achieve that. That you've installed the mail integration for Office 365 and Outlook plugin that was originally developed by Edward Cross. But as you can see from the screen already, this plugin has now uh, come under new management and we recently took ownership of this plugin. What I would like to show you in today's video is how you can migrate from this plugin to our yeah, basically own plugin, the Microsoft Graph Mailer plugin. Um, why? Well, basically we took ownership of this plugin and we are committed to support it, but only till the end of the next year, only till the end of 2023. By then, uh, we would urge all users of the mail integration for Office 365 Outlook plugin to uh, migrate to our own product and we will stop long time support for this plugin. So let's have a look. Um, I reconfigured my test website that is hosted at uh, test1.wpo365.com and I've configured it in a way that I'm using the uh, mail integration for uh, Office 365 and Outlook plugin. So if you are looking for the settings here, uh, it is nested here in the settings menu in WP Admin and there you'll find the mail integration 365 settings. So if I click here, then you can see that the plugin is configured uh, to send mail using Office 365. And you can see here all the Azure AD yeah, secrets, I would say, and keys that are needed to configure the all auth integration to Microsoft Graph using the Azure AD secrets. Um, you can also see that I've already authorized uh, the plugin um, and uh, there are various options and I leave them as they are. Um, so to migrate to the WPO365 uh, Microsoft Graph Mailer plugin, we actually need to first go to plugins. And we have a look at the install plugins again, what I just showed you, and I can see that there is a new version. So this version is still developed by Edward Cross, but there is a new version, 1.9, and let's update it to this version. So as soon as the update is ready, and we would visit again the settings page, then you will see that there is a support ending notice. And this notice describes basically what I just told you, that we took ownership um, and we will provide yeah, best effort support until the end of 2023. But we urge you to migrate to the WPO Microsoft Graph Mailer plugin. Um, so let's do that. Let's migrate. How do we do that? Well, the easiest way is that you install also the uh, WPO 365 Microsoft Graph Mailer plugin. So let's search for WPO365 and let's install the, um, uh, the Mailer plugin. And as soon as it's installed and activated, you see that there is a new uh, administration menu, WPO365. So let's go there and here we first need to say that to decide basically that we would like to send emails using Microsoft Graph. The function is by default disabled, so we want to enable this functionality. And as soon as I enable it, the configuration page will actually detect the settings for the mail integration 365 and Outlook plugin. And basically it's now very simple. We can say we like to import and uh, yeah, the current settings for the um, mail integration for Office 365 Outlook plugin. And we want then to delete those settings. And um, yeah, then basically as soon as we have imported those, we believe that um, the current plugin can simply take over. So let's click import. And uh, you can immediately see that the imported tool disappears. 
because the settings are deleted, the settings are no longer detected. That means that uh, now the settings are copied over to the WPO365 Microsoft Graph Mailer plugin. And um, yeah, all that we really need to do now is to say from what account would we like to continue sending emails from WordPress using Microsoft Graph? Well, in my case, that would be, for instance, Ellen at WPO365.com. And um, you can see there's a little spinner that checks whether I previously already created a configuration or an authorization object for this user, which is not the case. So I need to click authorize. Whenever I click authorize, there's always a little warning that tells us that if we are configuring application level permissions, then there is no need to click authorize. But we are in fact uh, configuring for delegated permissions. So in this case, we do want to click authorize. So we simply continue and click authorize. This will take us to Microsoft. And here we need to authorize as the account that we want to send mail as. So in our case, this is the Ellen at WPO365.com account. So I copy the password and I sign in as this user. Uh, don't need to sign in and state signed in. And this basically brings me back to uh, the configuration page. And what I can see here now is that um, we are authorized. It says here that the authorization was successful. And we can see that we have delegated permissions. As you can see, there are two other options that I can configure. I can choose that I want to send my emails always as HTML emails. Alternatively, you could select text. And I want to save the emails that I send in the send items folder of the account that we are using, Alan at WPO365.com. So I check that option and then I want to test this configuration and I can do that for instance by sending myself an email and um, WPO365.com. I could select also CC recipients, BCC recipients. I can also uh, check the option to include an attachment for my test email and I click to save this configuration and send a test email. So let's have a quick look and uh, I can see that I indeed received an email from Ellen at WPO365.com and um, I received an email with an attachment. So all seems to be working as expected. Um, let's have a quick look how our installed plugins page is looking. After that, we uh, initiated the migration where we said we import the settings. The WPO365 plugin has basically uh, imported the settings of the uh, mail integration for Office 365 and Outlook plugin, deleted those settings and deactivated the plugin. So the only thing really left to do is to delete the plugin from your system. Let's return to the WPO365 uh, configuration pages for the Microsoft Graph Mailer. What you may have noticed here is that there are several options that are currently locked. Um, these are premium options and you can click them for details. And then you can see what extensions or bundles that you can purchase from the WPO365.com uh, website are available and would provide you with this functionality. So let's have a look at the premium extension for the Microsoft Graph Mailer. So I click Mail and this takes us to our website uh, to the specific extension page. Let's have a quick look at the available premium features. First of all, there is the sending of large attachments. You need to know that the free plugin is able to send attachments, but only up to 3 MB. If an attachment is larger, then the plugin would need to create a so-called upload session. It will first create an email as a draft, then upload the attachment to Microsoft Graph. And then when all the attachments are uploaded, it will finally send the email. The premium extension will also add support to send emails from a Microsoft 365 shared mailbox. So in this case, it's still the same user that you use for authorization, but you can define a different mailbox uh, from which the email actually is sent. The mail audit and resend function will log every transactional email that is sent from your WordPress website. And it will also list uh, potential errors, or if there was an error, if the mail was not sent successfully, you will see it in the log. 
and you will be able to try and resend this email. So, is there anything left for this video? Well, I think yes, maybe two things. First of all, if you need help, simply go to the configuration pages and you will notice that there is a blue dot with a white question mark at the bottom. Click it and this will open a beacon and this allows you to get in touch to uh, send us a request for support. Identify yourself, say what it's about and say how we can help. And you will receive an answer normally within 24 hours. Maybe if it's the weekend, it can take us a little bit longer. And finally, if you're happy with the plugin, then make sure to tell others about it. If you're not happy, make sure you get in touch and I'm happy to look at your issue and I'm quite sure that we can resolve it. And also make sure that you go to YouTube, subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you very much.